Greensboro City leaders are working on new plans to clean up Bingham Park. That park remains closed because of contaminated soil. WFMY News 2's Joseph Leonard has a closer look now at the new options on the table. The city will bring two new options to council next Tuesday, one being a cap and cover and the other being a full remediation of the area. Now containing the site is much cheaper at around 12 million compared to removing it altogether, which the city says could cost more than 40 million. Now, if you remember a few months ago, the city proposed three options, but what is newly off the table is dumping the contaminated soil at the White Street landfill. The city says talks with concerned neighbors are a big reason why. And they gave um, significant impact and, and voiced their concerns that they didn't feel like the, the property should be used um, at White Street for disposal. Um, we've heard that feedback and that is a direct result um, or our presentation on Tuesday um, with no longer considering White Street as a disposal location. The first option involves stealing in the contamination, putting a layer over the affected soil, presenting rain, preventing rain and wind from carrying toxins. Some of those toxins include lead, iron and arsenic. The second option is a complete cleanup of both Bingham Park and Hampton Elementary School. If the city takes this route, the removed contaminants would either go to the Great Oak Landfill in Ashboro or the Uwari Landfill in Troy. The city says when it began the re remediation process, it will monitor air quality and make sure no contaminants spread. When that plan is being prepared, there are components that are required to be included in the plan. Uh, they would include things like uh, dust monitoring around the perimeter, uh, dust monitoring on individuals that are potential of inhalation exposure. Now the city will present the two options to City Council next Tuesday. They could either choose to vote on it or postpone it until the next meeting.